Great. Welcome to your bar class, guys. My name's Elena. If you didn't already know, make sure you have a little bit of space, something to hold on to for some of our chair work. We're not going to be using our chair too much today. We're going to focus mainly on the floor a little bit more today. But for our warm up, we don't need it yet. Let's just warm up. All right. If you have trouble hearing me or anything like that, type it into the chat. If you have any questions, feel free to come off mute and ask your questions. All right. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to start with our shoulders. Let's bring them up, down, and back for some nice little circles. And then start to get them a little bit bigger and add in your arms. And bring them up and out. And from there, we're just going to bring those arms straight up and bring them down. Take a nice little bend in the knees. Down and up. You can bring them straight down and forward. Like you're going to throw something right over your head. Get those legs nice and warm. Make sure you're sitting down into those heels. Hips are going back. Good, bring it down and hold it. Place the elbows on the knees. Bring those feet out a little bit wider. Rock it side to side. And then extend the legs straight. Straight legs, place the hands on the ground in front of you. And walk it over to that right foot. And then walk it through the middle over to the left. And back up, roll it through the middle. Go ahead and add in some knee lifts. Get those hip flexors warm. From here, we're gonna add in those arms again, just lifting them up and up. Once you start pulling that core, up and over. Good, keep it going. From here, we're just gonna add in a lunge to the back, to a knee lift. Throwing you guys off, back and up. Just to keep that warm leg going. It's kind of like a brain teaser. Lift it up, back and up and repeat. Up, back lunge and up and down. Two more, up, back, up and down. Last one. Ooh. And down. Shake out those feet. Hope you're feeling a little bit warm. We're going to go into our calf raises first. I'd love to start with our calf raises. We usually help keep the legs going nice and warm. All right. Again, if you have something to hold on to, feel free to hold on to it. Otherwise, now hands are totally fine. We're gonna start in our parallel position. Feet right underneath. And relevé all the way up onto those toes. Again, watch those ankles. Make sure that the ankles aren't splaying out to the sides. Try to stay on all equal parts of the feet. Holding here. And bring it all the way back down and up for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hold it up at the top. And from here, we're gonna do eight more, but I don't want your heels to hit the ground. I want you to pulse them up and down as quickly as you can. So really small movements here. Pretty much double timing. Just pulsing up and down. Keep it going for three, two, one, and bring it down. Place the feet down. You can bend the knees. Stretch out behind them. Good. Shake out those legs. We're going to go into our next position, which is our first position. So toes are just pointing out. Nice little V. Retuck those hips back under. Pull that core in. Inhale and lift it up. 
and roll it back down. You want to work through those feet. So you want to control it up and then slowly lower it down. Don't just flop it down. Lift up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight, seven. Keep those glutes squeezed. Five, four, core is tight. Three, two, one, hold it. Take a nice little balance. All right, bring those feet down, bend the knees. All right, we're gonna do one leg. So if you have to hold on to something, now's your time. We're gonna start with our right foot. Left foot comes behind, not doing anything fancy, just take it out of the way. I like to just rest it behind my other foot. And from here, we're gonna feel these ones. We're gonna releve all the way up onto that toe for a one. Up two, three, take them nice and slow, control it going down four, five, Six, seven, eight. I want you to try balance. I know that calf is screaming. Try to take a balance. See if you can do it. Ooh, I feel it all the way up in my hips. Quads and bring it down. Everything works. Shake it all out. Do the same thing with that left leg. If that is too much for you, keep both feet on the ground and keep doing them the way we were before. Cross that leg behind. Lean it up. Shoulders down. Core is tight. Glutes are tucked under. Inhale. Lift all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Balance, three, two, one, and bring it down. Woo, stretch out those legs. Take a nice little calf stretch. Put those hips back, each leg. All right, we're gonna go to our second position. No, I got you guys in there, the middle of this set. Hopefully your calves are feeling quite warm. From here, make sure your feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Again, pull that core in. Think tailbone pointing down to the floor. Inhale, lift up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Ooh, my left is cramping. Hold it. Keep that core nice and tight. Hold it here. Three, two, one, and bring it down. Shake it out. Stretch out those calves if you need it. Nice little stretch here. All right. Into our demi plies, we're gonna go back onto those toes. Calves might be sore tomorrow. Keeping the feet together. We're gonna, to, again, pull it in, standing up nice and tall. Bring it up onto those feet. Standing just like that. From here, bending the knees just a little bit. Tuck those hips underneath. Think of being up against a flat wall. From here, pulsing down an inch and up an inch. Knees are staying bent the whole time. This is a little bit too much on your knees or on your feet. You can drop it down to flat feet and do the same thing. This is going to get a little bit more of our quads. Keep it pulsing. Up, down, down. Three, two, one. Hold it at the bottom. So a little bit lower. Retuck those hips underneath. Open those knees apart and in. If you have a Pilates ball or any, a pillow, these are really good to do to put a pillow between the legs and squeeze the pillow or a ball, anything you have between the knees. 
Keep it going. Open, hand close. Three, two, one. Bring it up and bend the knees again. Don't drop the heels. Keep it going. We're gonna do another set. One. Keep those hips tucked under. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the bottom. Open and close those knees away. You have to drop it down to the ground. That's okay. Keep holding. Three, two, one. And bring it up and drop it down. Shake those legs out. My timer. There we go. Woo. All right. We're going to go into our second position of that. So take a nice little wide step out. All right. So from here, you want to be able to get a little bit wider. Bring it up. And we're going to bend the knees. Knees should be pointing out towards the walls. They're not in our normal squat position. They are turned out. And the wider your legs are, a little bit easier it might be to get down nice and low. Drop the heels down if this is a little bit much. Again, pull that core in, tuck the glutes under. Bring it down, up and down, pulsing. Breathing. You're starting to shake. You're doing great. That is the point of exhaustion where your muscles are like, stop, but keep going. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one, bring it up, drop it down and breathe. I'm gonna repeat one more time, alternating the feet. So we're gonna be lifting heels up and down. We're gonna start with the right side first. So bring it all the way up into that nice position. And again, bend it down. Tuck those hips back under, shoulders above hips. Drop that right heel down and up, down and up. And keep it going. Keep breathing. Try to stay a little lower. And switch feet, left heel comes up and down. Keep it breathing. If you're on flat feet, I want you to just be pulsing here. Got three more. Two, one, and break. Shake it out. All right. Take a second to breathe. I'm gonna move our chair out of the way for right now. Grab a sip of water if you need it. And we're gonna go down to the, actually, we're not gonna go down to the floor yet. We're gonna do some squats. All right. Now that our legs are warm, <laughs> we are gonna start with just some double pulse squats. So for these, this is just a basic squat. Oh, come back, phone just like a regular squat. You're just gonna add a double pulse at the bottom. And I mean at the bottom, so you're gonna get down to your lowest position. Here, come up, back down, and up. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. Bring the feet out and sit those hips back. Pulse it up and down and up and back out. Good, keep it going. Sit it down, keep the weight in the heels. Think of pressing those knees out to the sides. Almost there. And break. All right, we're gonna repeat that again. And double up our sets today. Here we go, 10 seconds, shake out those legs. All right, get into that squat position. Wide stance, pull that core in, sit those hips back, pulse up, down, and press through. 
Don't forget to breathe. Keep the head looking forward. Chest up. Keep going, you got 10 seconds. Last one. And break. Ooh, legs are feeling it today. All right, we're gonna take a nice wide stance. A little bit wider than hip width. From here, we're gonna bend our right leg and we're just gonna lateral lunge it out. All right, keeping both knees facing forward. Here we go. Nice open chest. Lean it into that right side and press it straight up and repeat. You should be able to wiggle your toes in that working foot. It's gonna help use that heel to press up. Sit those hips back. All right, from here, we're gonna take it into another squat, into a crunch. We're gonna do our left leg, our right elbow to our left leg. So sit it right back down, crunch, and down. We're going right into this one, we're gonna still work that right leg that we just did that lateral lunge with. This is a little bit much. Basic body weight squat is fine. Hands up, sit it down, elbow to knee. That right leg should be starting to really kick in now. And last one, and break. All right. Almost there. We're gonna do our other side. Let me take this. This get hot in here. All right. Other side of our lunge. So our left leg. Nice wide stance. Catch your breath. All right. Nice wide chest. Bring it over to the left and press it up. Take these nice and slow. Look down, look at where your knee's going. Make sure it's staying behind the toe and facing forward. Sitting those hips out. Keep it going. And break. Ooh, all right. Back to our squat. And this time we're gonna do our right leg to our left elbow. In three, two, one. And go, sit it down. Right elbow, sorry. Left knee. Guys, my left and my right. I'm not good at that. Right knee to left elbow. There we go. Keep that form going. Down and up. Almost there. And break. Ooh, all right. We're going to take it down to the ground. So grab it a second. If you have a of water or anything like that, you grab some water. All right. So this set of our floor exercises for our boots today are gonna be similar to what we've done before. It's gonna be a little bit more intense, but you guys can handle it. So we're gonna start 
kicked with our right leg. <laughs> so it's a variation of our donkey kicks, which is pretty much a staple in any bar class. Or these ones. You're going to be on our hands and knees. I know, how unusual. From here, when you go to do that donkey kick that we usually just go straight up into the air with it, instead, that leg is gonna come out not directly to the side and not straight to the back. I want it on a little bit of that diagonal. And then it bends right back down. It goes out and back down. So it's just going right to a diagonal. If that's a little bit too intense, you can just go straight to the back and that's fine. So we're gonna stay on the right leg for these first two or three sets. So we're gonna really exhaust this right hip, which means the left side will be a little bit harder, but that's okay. All right, here we go, you guys. Get into that nice hand and knee position. Look down, make sure your knees are underneath your hips and have some space between them. From here, pull that core in. We don't want an arched back or a swayed back. Lean it over. We're gonna bring that right leg out and bend one. Out for two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it out there and hold it. Pulse it up for two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it under, repeat, out for one. I know it burns, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, slow it down if you have to, three, two, one, hold it at the top pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, Seven, fight through it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend it under. We're gonna rock it back and take a nice big deep breath. I know as those legs and hips start to cramp and get sore, you start to lose form. You start to do anything you can to get that leg up there. Fight through it. All right, the next exercise is with the same leg. I'm really torturing you guys today and it's great. <laughs> so for this one, we are going to bring our left elbow down onto the ground. Our right arm is going to stay straight. With that same leg, <laughs> we're going to bring it straight out and up. So not everyone is super flexible. That's fine. Just going to go straight out. But I want to make sure that that knee is turned out to the side. So instead of your knee facing down to the ground, I want you to just have it turned out just a little bit to the side. So that's your first one. It's going to be just a straight leg. And then after our 16 of those, it's going to come out to a bend. And when you're bending, think of just crossing those ankles to straight up as high as you can get it. The goal isn't to get it as high as you really can when arching your back. You want to make sure you're still staying nice and square in your hips and a nice tight core. So your torso shouldn't be moving that much. I'm giving you guys a nice little break with your leg. All right. Bring that left elbow down, right hand up in space between the knees, pull that core in. Here we go. We're going to bring that leg, turn it out, straight out. And under, out, down, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Eight more, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Ooh, two. Three. Doing great. Two. We're gonna hold it. Hold it up and pull. Hold it. Pulse, keep it low if you have to. For four, three, two, one. Bring it under. Rock it back. Oh, felt that one. All right. We're going to do that, unfortunately, one more time. Don't worry, guys. This is just probably as brutal for me as it is for you. Back down onto that one elbow. From here, we're just gonna keep the leg completely straight. So turn it out, tap the toe on the ground, make sure that knee is turned out. Remember all your core tightening, glute tightening, flat back. Here we go, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, Six, five, point that toe, four, three, two, hold it at the top, pulse, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Oh, no, I'm going to be so sore. All right, you guys, switch sides. Whichever side is more comfortable, take a second to stretch if you want to do a nice little child pose. Take a second. I know you probably felt the burn on that one. I know I did. We're going to start back from our beginning, but with our left leg. All right, hands and knees. Make sure those hands are right under the shoulders. Repull in that core. It up a little bit. All right. Here we go. All right, that leg is going to come out on that diagonal. And then it bends right back under. Diagonal out for one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, core is tight, five, four, three, two, one, bring it out, hold it, pulse up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it under. Rock it back and bring it right back up. A little pause. Bring it out. Diagonal and in for one. Two. Stay with me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Bring it under, rock it back. Whew. All right. Now for our last set of these. Take a second. These ones are a little bit more brutal. All right. So we're gonna start with a bend to straighten. Except that knee is turned out. So bring it behind, turn it out. So it's a very small movement, moves probably just about two inches. 
And then when you pull that leg back into cross, they should pretty much cross over the elbows, over the ankles, not the elbows. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bring that leg up, extend it out. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can already feel it cramping. Five, six, seven. Drop it down onto that elbow, I forgot. Right elbow on the ground, left arm straight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it there. Pulse up, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, tap the toe, last set. Up, one, down, straight leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, stay with me, eight, seven, I know it burns, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it under and breathe. Ooh, all right. Almost there, you guys. Almost there. I know we went pretty heavy on legs today. We have just a little bit of core left to do. I can't remember if we, oh, okay. We're gonna let our legs breathe for a minute. Take those legs, pull them into a little butterfly position and just lean it forward. Give it a nice little stretch while we're here. All right, so. Lean it down onto your back. We have three core exercises that we are going to work on today. We're going to repeat through them twice for 30 seconds each. That is the goal. Our first one is going to be scissor kicks, elbow to knee. I just fell over in my room. <laughs> All right, get into a nice comfy position. Bring those feet up into the air, hands behind the head. You're gonna bring one leg down while you come up, elbow to knee, the other leg, straight legs, side to side. And keep going. Take it nice and slow. Really keep that low back pressed into the floor. Five seconds. And break. Bring it up into our V set. Bring those feet up off the ground, balancing. Make sure you're tucking those hips underneath. If you're sitting up on that sits bone, putting a little bit too much pressure on that little back. So curve it right underneath. Take a second to breathe. You can hold it here. We got three seconds. And then we're gonna let go of our hands and release. Bring those hands out to the side. Nice flat tabletop position. Holding here. And in this position, I want you to pull those knees apart. Diamond in the middle and squeeze them back together. Open and close. Open and close. Keep going for 10 more seconds. Go as slow or as fast as you want. This is a little bit too much. Hold that V-sit position. break. All right, we have a L sit. I don't know if anyone has done these before. This is going to help with our nice deep internal obliques. So you have a couple of options here. If you have really sensitive wrists and this, you think this will bother your wrist, you don't have to do it this way. So this is your one option. You're going to have your hands in front of you. 
And all you're gonna do is just lift the hips off the ground, essentially. Lift and hold. Your goal is to try to hold yourself up off of the floor for as long as you can. Other option, if you have sensitive wrists like I do sometimes, I want you to just focus on lifting one leg at a time, as straight as possible. You wanna keep them completely straight and you need to be sitting up as tall and as straight as possible. You can lean a little bit back more to make it a little bit easier. The forward, more forward you lean, the harder it is. The farther back you lean, the easier it is. So find the position that works for you. You can try a combo of all of them. We have 30 seconds. Here we go. Inhale, nice flat back. If you're here with me, lift and hold. Bring it back down and then reset. You can also go on your fist. Sometimes I will do that to protect my wrists as well. Or practice leg lifts. These are all about control. You got five more seconds. And break. Shake it out. Shake out those hands. And if you do get sore wrists from any of these exercises, it's pretty normal. Most people's wrists get pretty tired and exhausting after doing a lot of weight bearing exercises. You don't feel Two left out. I know I have also bad wrist. We're gonna bring it back down to the ground. Scissor kicks. Bring those feet up into the air. Here we go. Hands behind the head, alternating the legs. Bring it down and go. and break rock it up reset all right shake it out lean it back feet up in the air here we go three two one and hold hold it right here Pull the knees apart, diamond, and close. Open, close. Make it a little bit harder, you can straighten the legs out and then open and close. That's too much for me right now. You got six seconds. Almost there. And break. All right. L sit or leg lift. All right, sitting up nice and tall. The hardest part of these is to keep a flat back and not want to just curve over. So hands out, choose whichever one you want to do or a combo and here we go. Inhale in and go. You can do a combo of holding yourself off the ground and out in those leg lifts. Almost there. Three, two, one, and break. All right, go ahead and switch it over onto your hands and knees. And I want you to bring your hands in right underneath your shoulders and close in together on the knees or on your toes. We're gonna to be doing tricep push-ups. We're just gonna focus on our triceps today. So bring those hands right underneath you. And from here, I want you to slowly bend those elbows until you get flat down onto the ground arms come out to the side lift the arms up they go straight out 
place them back down and push yourself back up we're gonna repeat 30 seconds inhale slowly lower down arms come out they come in and push repeat Five seconds. And break, rock it back to child's pose. All right, on to those elbows. Last exercise. Elbows and toes for your plank position. I want you to have the feet spread out a little bit wider than your hips. All right, here we go. Bring it up into your plank. I would rather have your hips up too high than have you sagging or swaying. So just remember that you'd rather have them up too high than have too much pressure on your low back. From here, bring those hips up into the air into a nice little downward dog and bring it right back down. So your feet aren't moving, and your elbows aren't moving, just from your shoulders. Almost there. And hold that plank. For three, two, one. And break. All right. Take a second to breathe. Bring it down into a nice little cobra position. Stretch it out. Take the arms, extend it. A little bit up higher for an up dog. And then bring it up and back through a child's pose. And from here, bring that right leg out in front for a nice little pigeon pose. So open up that, oh, that right knee to the side. Find the position that is most comfortable for you. And lean it down. When we do glute work like that or hip work, these types of stretches are definitely going to help with soreness. And it's also really good to do for low back pain. And don't forget, we do have a low back pain webinar tomorrow at noon from Hartford Healthcare. And go ahead and switch legs. left leg comes under if you guys are interested in attending that webinar or if you haven't signed up yet you can shoot me an email and I'll sign you up and send you the link keep breathing and then from here I'm just gonna have you roll right over onto your back from that nice little stretch <laughs> All right, bring both knees into the chest and then up into a happy baby. Pressing it down. Flexing the feet. And then hold that right knee into the chest, extend the left out straight. Cross it up and over. The left side, nice upper body, lower back stretch. And then switch sides, pull that left knee in, up and over to the right. All right, bring it back in. And sit it up, I believe. That is all we have time for today. Ooh, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you won't be too sore. Don't forget to hydrate today if you didn't already. Thank you.